Hey YouTube, KG here. Um, I haven't posted in a while. I went to New York for a few days and haven't, uh, I have been fishing mostly for bluegill at, at Echo Park and it's been a lot of fun, but I just haven't been bringing the camera. It's just been a couple hours after work, but I decided to, that it's been a while and so I should probably uh, get on it. Um, it's kind of late in the day. I've actually already worked, already fished, uh, got a load of laundry in and so I didn't want to like make up my face again so I've got glasses and this is sort of uh, my evening look. Um, so I wanted to make a little bit more of a formal how-to video because I've kind of figured out the bluegill pattern at Echo Park Lake and I'm thinking if you're interested in catching your first fish or introducing someone to fish or trying out a lake Echo Park bluegill is probably one of the most access accessible um, lakes to go to. Bluegill are one of the easiest fish to catch and um, and night crawlers are the way to go. So with these, uh, with a few essentials, uh, you can actually probably get uh, some fish on um, at Echo Park, which is, which is the point. Um, some people might say like, you know, people uh, often say this is Mystery Lake or this is Lake X because they don't want their spot to be bombarded. I understand that sentiment, but if you're gonna be watching an informational how-to video on how to catch the easiest fish in the easiest place, then I'm thinking you might actually appreciate the help and hopefully uh, the other fishers will be um, welcoming and glad to receive you. Okay, so to fish at for Echo Park, Bluegill, you need the following. You need a light rod. Uh, this doesn't even say, usually it'll say right here um, if it's like an ultra light or a medium light or a medium heavy, but this is so cheap it just says micro sp made in China. All right, this is just a Zebco ultra light um, micro combo. It comes with, uh, it doesn't even say what pound, oh. Oh, it can do two pound, four pound, six pound test. So I probably have something like two or four pound test on this. I also have, so I have a light rod, a light reel. I also have a, I also have a bobber on it and about two feet of leader and a small hook at the end. This is actually a pretty larger hook than I'm used to, but um, just did very simple. Rod, bobber, hook. Um, I don't use split shot that some people do. I feel like this kind of like uh, free lines it and allows the worm to fall in a natural fashion. But if you need the worm to get faster to a certain depth um, deeper, then you, you might want a split shot. I don't use a split shot though. Okay. Um, Okay, so you need a rod, reel, uh, terminal tackle. Um, I'd say somewhere between uh, 10 and, uh, I'm sorry, an eight and 14 size hook. Um, at bobber, bobbers come in all shapes and sizes. Um, this one's probably a little big. It's probably for bass, but you know, bobbers come in all shapes and sizes. And if you want, um, again, split shot, but I don't think it's necessary. Okay, also important, night crawlers. Someone pointed out, uh, let's see, Dan F. pointed out, you know, hey, uh, it's funny that you're starting with bass and working your way backwards to bluegill when it's like difficulty level is reversed. Excellent observation. Um, that bluegill are so much easier to catch and although there's like a thousand different types of uh, lures out there that I've been trying to master and learn one of the simplest one of them all is just the night crawler the good old Canadian night crawler I got this at Walmart for like three bucks Walmart also has uh, big red worms which work okay Um, 
and I went to a different bait shop and they sell it in this live bait uh, container. Um, uh, the only sporting, the only places uh, near me that sell this are the Walmart um, by the fishing tackle and the Dick Sporting Goods in the live bait refrigerated section. As far as I know, no one else sells it. Um, maybe at a pet store you could get mealworms, but that's about it uh, in terms of uh, you know, Glendale adjacent uh, live bait. Okay, so that's the terminal tackle. Okay, two more really important things you need. One is a hat. Um, happy Memorial Day, so, uh, go America. Um, this helps uh, protect your face from the sun. It also um, gives you some protection from the glare. But possibly most important of all, I don't even fish if I don't have these polarized sunglasses. I'm partial to the C.580 P's, but invest in a solid pair of polarized sunglasses. Um, when you're looking, if they talk about more about the frame and the design than the polarization, um, it may not be suitable for fishing purposes, but if they talk of the polarization, it's probably best. Okay. Um, once you're rigged up, go to the lake. Q Echo Park. Hey YouTube, KG here after work. Um, gonna hit up Echo Park again. I got some dying night crawlers to use and they've been very successful, so try it out. Big car just passed. All right, see you on the water. Echo Park, nice clear day. Okay, this is one of my favorite spots for the bluegill. I see a bunch of stuff. I can't tell if they're bass or bluegill right now, but there's like, I don't know if it's a school, but there's at least three or four of them just hanging out. I'm using just straight up Canadian night crawlers that I got like two weeks ago um, from Walmart. I'm gonna use about maybe a third gross it's like intestines are coming out so I don't know if this is a size 8 hook but that's the hook it's bigger than what I used previously but the bluegill are bigger than the ones I've been going for previously so all right I'm gonna toss this guy out there's just a bunch of stuff right there Okay, so all of them uh, swam away. Uh, maybe they'll come back though. Maybe. Okay. I'm gonna cast it past them and then... Uh... Got a bite, lost it. Okay, he seems to have told all his friends because all of the school just swam really far away. Ah, oh, damn it. Well, he took the bait. That's good. They're eating. They like earthworms. Just uh, kind of wacky it. A little long for a gill, but maybe we'll just get multiple bites. Got one. It's a little one, but I got one. We'll get one for the day. You 
usually after I catch one, they're uh, less inclined to get caught at the same spot. So this spot's probably done, but I'll give it another go. I see some bass here, or something here. Got one. I think it's a bass. Yeah, it's strong. Nice first bass of the day. It's probably like a third of a pound. Nice looking bass. Took them right in the loop. One bass, one bluegill. Promising day. Another mess of bluegill. Let's see if I can get a bite. Got one. Socko after it. Missed it. And came it again. Bluegill number two. About the size of my hand. Alright. Whoever's brave enough to go for this guy. Got one. Not a bad size bass. Alright. Third best of the day, or second best of the day. Not a bad size. Maybe like half a pound? Ah oh shit, he choked it. All right, good luck fishing out there. Uh, if you see me, please say hello. Uh, I'm gonna be trying out possibly a different lake this Friday, so we'll see how that goes. But all right, good luck.